Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. So if you've got your Bible, go to Psalm 42. I long to live in God's presence, but within that longing, there's a painful recognition that I am unable to stay in his presence without his strength. I thirst and yet I fear as I draw near to the living water that can quench my terrible thirst, but I know that I must draw near, as there is no other source but him. Psalm 42, verse 1 and 2, as the deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for you, God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? I remember that joyful confidence and the reckless abandonment from which I would fling myself heart first, head second, into worship and intimacy with the Lord when I first came to know him. It never occurred to me at that time that he wouldn't catch me. When I left into his arms, I only had to jump. I remember dancing in the rain, and I actually did this, soaked to the skin, sliding on a water-soaked field with a hundred other Jesus lovers, not caring what anybody else thought. My eyes were fixed on someone I couldn't see with my earthly eyes, but my heart instantly recognized my beloved from afar. Psalm 42, verse for these things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude-keeping festival. God has proven himself ever faithful to me, and I could fill a dozen journals and hundreds of YouTube videos with answered prayer, and I am grateful and yet I still long for more. I'm not satisfied with his mere provision of earthly things that I might need. I long for his presence. Psalm 42, verse five to six. Why are you cast down my soul and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise him again. My salvation and my God. My soul is cast down within me, therefore I remember you. So when you're really going through hard times, remember him, remember the things that he's done. Write them down, all the answers to prayer you've had all along the way, and you'll be surprised. But I'm not satisfied with just him giving me stuff. I'm not satisfied with a surface relationship. I don't like surface relationships with people that I see every day. Why would I want one with the Lord? I just don't want to be an admirer of his ways either. I just don't want to be his fan. I just don't want to be his subscriber, if you want to put it that way, since this is on YouTube. I really want to be intimately acquainted with him. His voice calls to my inner self. He's the one who's put the hunger there. And as I respond to that deep place within me, deep calls on to deep, he submerges me under his waterfall, saturating every cell of my being with his grace. Verse 7, deep calls to deep. At the roar of your waterfalls, all your waves have gone over me. Even in this arid land that this world can sometimes be, I often find myself with a song of worship as I drift to sleep, and he joins in that song of mine, tenderly watching over me. And so often I'll have that song on my heart when I wake up. Psalm 42, verse 8 and 9. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Don't forget worship songs and hymns. We're singing them to God. They are our heart prayer. They're just not nice words that we sing, but we're singing them as a prayer 
and as a praise offering to the Lord. When my soul is tempted to believe the lies that my circumstances whisper in my heart, I need to focus on my beloved voice until he drowns out all the other voices that might be going on in my head and in the world around me. My hope is not only in him. My hope is him. I praise him because he's good and I praise him for his empowering grace. I praise him because he's worthy of my unconditional surrender and trust. Verse 11, why are you cast down my soul and hope in God? I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. I encourage you to go read Psalm 42 for yourself and hash it out with the Lord. If there are struggles going on in your life, if you're feeling a distance, if you're feeling that distance is there because you have pulled away from him, just read Psalm 42 as a prayer. Be still and listen to what he has to say to you in response.